Hey guys, this is Brandon Work Otter with the Tennis Provision. Today we're going to be reviewing the MSV Tennis Pointer. This is a tool that really helps you hit the sweet spot more often while you're playing tennis. When you're using this device, you really want to exaggerate watching the ball all the way through contact so that you can hit it clean every time. This is going to help your tennis game because you're going to be more consistent and you're going to miss hit less balls. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Brandon here with the Tennis Provision. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I'll be creating content, all things related to tennis. This is my first ever video, so if you have any suggestions, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. For this video, I did a voiceover so that you didn't hear the loud balls in the indoor tennis facility. The tennis pointer also makes you sound like you're ripping the cover off the ball, so that's another reason why it's fun to use. So when I first started hitting forehands, my goal was to watch the ball as long as possible. Although it sounds simple, it was a challenge at first. As you can see, the head size is a lot smaller than your normal racket, so if you can consistently make clean contact with the tennis pointer, you will be able to miss hit less balls when you switch over to your normal racket. After using it, I would say it is a fun tool that can benefit your game, but it cannot be used in all areas of training. I noticed after using this product, it was very hard to rally with. In fact, I was having trouble handling live balls from the baseline when I was playing with others. With that being said, the tennis pointer is a great tool when being hand-fed balls. You could definitely add this to your tennis warm-up. It requires lots of focus and it will make sure that you are alert at the start of your practice. I recommend you try this product, but do not get discouraged at first because it could definitely get tough to get used to. But once you start getting the hang of it, you will find it very rewarding. I had a tougher time making clean contact on my backhand side. I wanted to keep the video realistic, so I kept a lot of my missed shots in the video. Hey guys, if you were wondering why I wasn't hitting serves and volleys in this video, it was because I found it a lot more difficult to make clean contact on serves and volleys. I don't think it is the most viable option for training in those areas. However, if you're looking to miss hit less balls from the baseline, it's definitely a tool that would benefit you. So with that being said, I do think that you should look into this product, especially if you find yourself pulling up too early on the ball or having the tendency to not watch the ball all the way through contact. Hey guys, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe.